Legislative IQ. Increase your legislative intelligence with Florida's policy, budget, and campaign monitoring service. Subscribe today at legislativeiq.com. The Swanee River, quiet, peaceful, until. Oh, man. That was the voice of Fish and Wildlife Conservation spokesperson Karen Parker, who is still thrilled when she's on the river and sees the giant sturgeon leap. Basically doing what they've been doing for the last 200 million years, and that's jumping. And um, the scientists I've spoken with finally have figured out why they jump, which is pretty amazing. It's for communication between other fish and to uh, get gulp air so they can fill up their swim bladder. That's Catching the fish on camera is a feat in itself. You never know when or where they'll jump, which is why boaters are always at risk. Two people, a 59-year-old woman and a 14-year-old girl, were hurt in separate incidents this year. It's simply they're jumping and at a time when we want to use the river too. So we're both trying to use the river and sometimes we collide. The fish arrive in April and leave when the water starts to cool in the fall. What we do know for certain is that the fish aren't jumping for food. They don't eat the entire time they're in the river. From what I've read, they really fill up on shrimp and crab before they move into the river. Yeah, they'll lose like 25% of their body weight when they, when they get in here. So boaters beware. There are fish beneath the Swanee just waiting to communicate. Oh, oh man. I perfect. Just, I wasn't. Reporting from the Swanee River in Brantford, Florida, I'm Mike Vasilinda.